Welcome to Macro Magic. I'm Sherry Damaris, and with me in the kitchen today, I have Bill and Elaine Levins, and they're from Reviva Labs. And for years, I grew up using your products, very familiar with some of them. And I was so excited because I've been contacting you for a couple of years to come on to the show. <laughs> true. And we finally found each other at the Natural Expo East in Philadelphia this past fall. And so here you are. And I'm so excited to learn more about your products. And really, how did this company, I, first of all, I couldn't believe that the address was always Haddonfield, New Jersey. Where you know, are these products made and how did this company become developed? Well, that's a, that's a long story because we're celebrating our 50th year now. Huh? Uh, it was founded by Steven Strassler and Judith Strassler uh, in 1973. Uh, they, Steven had a passion for skin care. He be actually became the first licensed esthetician in the male. male licensed esthetician mm. in the United States, correct, thank you. Uh, and then they actually began to travel the world looking at interesting and uh, novel ingredients and treatments from Europe and, and beyond. Mm -hmm. And then they would bring it back and essentially create it for their own formulas into, and create their own skincare products. <coughs> They actually, Stephen and Judy, sort of, I don't want to say they brought exfoliation to the United States, but back in the 70s, that wasn't a thing yet. It wasn't a thing that was being done in the United States, but it was being done in Europe and so forth, and that's one of the first products was a product that would exfoliate. It was, it was, it was the, the light, light skin, skin peel, peel yeah, still which one we of still our... have in our line. Oh, wow. uh, it's one of, I actually used it last night, one of my favorite <laughs> exfoliants. Um, it's gentle, it's used in salons and so forth, but that those kinds of things that we take for granted now that everyone knows about elastin, collagen, exfoliation, in the early 70s, people didn't know about them yet. And Reviva was a, was, was a trailblazer, really, at the time. I remember your products were the first products I ever saw on the shelves in the health food stores. Exactly. And that's how I started remembering you year after year. Steven actually had a lot of friends and connections within the health food industry from his mm -hmm. early days in advertising business mm -hmm. uh, and he had, had had those relationships so essentially when they started developing and founded Review of the Labs he went out and connected to all the, mm -hmm. the different stores and said hey you're already helping people with proteins and supplements uh, you're helping them on the inside why don't you help them on the outside and that's essentially what they did is they their first major placements were in health food stores and were still widely known and distributed in independent health food stores. Um, also we were talking before we came on camera that um, you don't test on animals which I was really happy to hear. So. I don't think either one of us could work on, at a company where we tested on animals. We are huge animal lovers. We have two dogs and five cats of our own. Um, <laughs> we're, we're big in that way. Stephen was too, and so was Judy. They were both ma major animal lovers, and it's always been one of our tenets. Um, we don't test on animals, and we, tr we partner with uh, companies that provide you know, our raw materials and stuff that also don't test on animals. Yeah, that was Judith's big... Uh, uh, big issue was that she loved animals. She would bring her dog Cinnamon to work, uh, <laughs> you know, on a day, almost every every day, and and we would all like love on Cinnamon. But uh, she she was from the day they started the company would you know made it a point that they weren't going to test on animals. And we are actually PETA cruelty free certified. Mm, that's wonderful for all you vegans out there. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the best-selling products that you brought, and then also some new new products you're developing. Absolutely. Uh, uh, do you want to talk about well, the products? Well, I was going to say, can I start with my, okay, Absolutely. so Sherry knows because she met me at a trade show, um, my big thing is when, I'll give you a little bit of history, Bill and I worked with Reviva Labs um, as, a, as marketers from back in 2004? Yeah. Yeah, from back in 2004. So from the very early days when Bill would go over to meet with Steven and so forth, he would bring home products. He, Steven would say, oh, take this home for your wife to try, take this home for your wife to try. So for almost 20 years now, this is our alpha lipoic acid vitamin C ester and DMAE cream. 
and I call it my desert island cream. If I could take nothing else with me, if I had no other product that I could take, <laughs> this would be it. I've used it, I've slapped it all over my face, I've used it on my body when I've forgotten to take body lotion with me. Um, it's just a really nice cream and it's, it's oh, see there's the seal. Um, it's just, it's lovely, it feels silky, it's just a really nice product and I think it, and it's a firming product so it keeps my skin not only firm but moisturized. Here I'm going to rub it into my hand since nice. I didn't put hand lotion on this no, morning. No, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say it's the that combination of ingredients was also made famous years after this product was actually debuted by uh, the Paracone. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Paracone. Paracone. So, but this Reviva had been doing Reviva had been doing these three ingredients together for years before. And what Dr. are the Paracone. three ingredients? Alpha lipoic acid, vitamin C ester, and DME. Vitamin alpha -lipoic, alpha lipoic acid, also known as thiotic acid, is a, a, a potent antioxidant. Uh, the vitamin C ester is a, a derivative of vitamin C. It's a more stable version of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody knows the benefits of vitamin C. Um, and the DMAE, it, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the actual technical name. Everybody knows it as DMAE. is basically a firming agent that helps tighten and firm the skin. Uh, and initially and over time. Oh, thank you. I try. <laughs> so, but oh, it's all Reviva. <laughs> I was gonna say she does. Uh, everybody knows that you know if if I ever see another product in our building that they get frowned upon. So we do look at other competitor products and we evaluate it, but you have to use our products. Uh -huh. Well, and like I said, this one is I and I even if I talk to a customer on the phone because I still talk to customers on the phone pretty much almost daily. Um, and they have, they ask for a recommendation. I have never met anyone who has had a bad experience with this product. Mm. Most of our products are good for all skin types to begin with. Um, you know, they're not harsh and, and so forth. Not everyone, you know, no product is perfect. People have different types of skin. But this one is one of those things that I never hesitate to recommend, recommend to anyone because it's just a really great product. No, I like the firming aspect it's, of it. It's, it's, it's a wonderful product and like I said it's gentle enough that when I'm really lazy at night if I if all I can just muster myself to do is wash my face and put something on I just put that everywhere. <laughs> nice. And so this is an old product. Our, you know, we've had it for, uh, for, for years. Many, many years. years. Yep. I was gonna say our newest product it is our Bacuchiol Plus Serum. Don't ask me to Pronounce. Yeah, Bakuchiol is, <laughs> is a tongue twister, especially if you don't know. It took me a while to learn it. And actually, uh, you know, other some people pronounce it a little differently, but Bakuchiol Plus. Bakuchiol is sourced from a plant. It's a natural retinol alternative. And it uh, essentially has all the benefits of uh, retinol without any of the side effects. Because, you know, some of the problems with retinols uh, can be uh, drying of the skin, redness, irritation. Mm. Uh, sensitivity. Sun sensitivity. Uh, but so far, none of those have, uh, you know, appeared with Bakuchiol. And we, are, we were actually big proponents of it. We started adding it to a couple of our products last year uh, and then came out with this this year. And it's going to start hitting sort of shelves uh, in the next month or two. So explain for our audience, what does retinol do and why do people use retinol and then why would people well, choose retinol, this Well, retinol, because we do actually have a retinol serum as well. Uh -huh. I can't say that we don't. Retinol is basically a derivative of vitamin A. There are prescriptive strength retinol, retinoids, retinoic acid, but uh, essentially that requires prescription. It's one of the few ingredients around the world that's widely accepted as actually being beneficial for the skin on many different levels. Not only does it help treat uh, blemishes and acne, it helps reduce wrinkles, it helps mm. to stimulate the production of collagen. Uh, but obviously, the the you know having to go to get a prescription and having that higher strength can cause some issues. Mm -hmm. So retinols, which are derivatives of uh, Retin A, are basically less. Uh, less aggressive on the skin, but still have the same effects and cumulative benefits over time. Mm. So right off the bat, just by using a retinol, you're going to be uh, less sensitive or have fewer of the problems, depending on how much is in a formula. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're still going to get all the benefits. It just might take a little longer. But you're safer than using a prescriptive strength. The Bakuchol, again, has all those benefits but none of the side effects. Mm. So right off the bat, it's, it's a lovely formula. We actually included alfalfa and um, artichoke with it as well nice. in that formula. And most of our formulas are very simple. You're going to find only a few key ingredients. Mm -hmm. 
and anything that needs to support those ingredients. Not a whole list of things. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, we do try to keep the, the formulas as clean as possible. I mean, there are obvious considerations. I just actually read an article from someone who was talking about, well, you know, this doesn't have any artificial preserve. This doesn't have any preservatives. I was like, yeah, you can't have a product that doesn't have some sort of preservative. You don't want to open your product and have it and have be it go bad. bad. Right. Exactly. Suki, so I think Suki was one of the brands that was on my show one time, or we talked about it. And they do, you know, you keep them a little too long, and they <laughs> oh, without lose question, their luster. Well, without question, I, I actually keep my stuff probably a little longer than I should because mm -hmm. I don't tend to bring remember to bring stuff home. And usually it's fine, but every so often I'll find something in the back of the cabinet, and it's got a really long past due expiration date. I'm like, yeah, no, I'll just uh, get a new one. Fortunately, a lot of products can be used past their expiration, but we don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, it, as long as it kind of looks and smells okay then it's probably well, okay but better off to go get something replace it correct and they tend to lose their efficacy as well i mean mm -hmm. as, as time goes on things start to break down and and so forth correct. so after after the expiration date again it's not to say they're unsafe it's just they're not going to be as good as they once were so so is this whole line for skin is this all skin essentially yeah we're uh -huh. uh, well we are 99.9 .9 skin care based we have one remnant of uh, a retired makeup product line. We have one mascara, a black mascara. Oh. Uh, that is the only product that I haven't tried yet. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I've tried every other product. We have okay. 55 products in our line. Oh. I've tried and utilized <clears throat> every single one of them. Uh, but I just don't feel I'm qualified to judge <laughs> the mascara because I have that nothing to compare it to. Yeah. I have used the mascara though and I like it. I actually, it was something I felt comfortable with. Uh, our daughter's 12 and when she first started experimenting with makeup, it was mm. something at least I felt comfortable with sure. to let her oh, use on so her skin. There's so many chemicals now and Ex lipsticks and mascara. Exactly. And we like to and keep things clean and simple and natural. So, so. Nice. Well, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, Bill's going to uh, teach us how to make one of these serums very simple way and we're going to talk more about what's what's new and what's coming out. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to Macro Magic. I'm with Bill and Elaine Levins from Aviva Labs, and we just talked about some of their facial products that are probably some of the best sellers or the most favorite. And we were just talking about, you want to share with the viewers the vitamin E stick? Yeah, I was going to say our vitamin E stick, which you can see right here, you, can, you might be familiar if you visit a store, you're going to see it in a store. Um, that's how it's displayed. It's actually uh, a lip balm that's hydrating and nourishing and, and moisturizing and helps protect the lips. I guess I'll use this you one. You can use it. <laughs> <laughs> it glides right on. It's, it's wonderful and it's, it, a lot of people also use it for like under the, on their cheeks, when they're sick, if their nose is raw, you know, when you're blowing your nose too much, it's soothing for that. 
Uh, it's got vitamin E, which is a great antioxidant, but also nice. nourishing to the skin. It's got allotoin in it, which is very nourishing and soothing for the skin. And it's just a very simple formula that's super uh, moisturizing and hydrating. And I, we were talking, I've actually used it on my cuticles. Um, I never am far from one of these. They're in my handbag. My daughter's got them all over the house. We have them in, tucked in cabinets and drawers and nightstands and everywhere. They're in our everywhere. cars, in our nest. Well, you can't keep them in your car in the summer because they will melt. <laughs> but yes, they, they're everywhere. Every, it's, it's seldom you'll find one of us without. One Even around the office, everyone has one in their desk drawer. Uh, they're, right. they're all uh, over the place. Uh, 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 uh. And I, I still talk to customers, like we were saying before, and I have people call and they say this is the only lip balm they can use, the only lip balm they will ever use. One of the nice distinctions of this is that um, it's super uh, hydrating and it doesn't dissipate, where like if you mm. use some of the other brands of lip balms and stuff, you'll be like, mm, I just put that on. I feel like I need to put it on again. That's not typically the case with this. Or I get so many at the trade show that dry out by the time I open yeah, them up. This, mm -hmm. I was yeah, going to say. Not gonna, that's not going to happen with this. It's a, it's a I, really great formula. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, and this, it, it, uh, you know, it juxtaposed to this, our hyaluronic acid serum, are, are, are top sellers generally. So, so this is just to put on the face. That's yeah, this is our hyal hyaluronic acid is, is essentially a humectant that draws and retains moisture to the skin. It's mm. very popular. You'll find it in a lot of different products. It's pervasive amongst all of our products as well, but it's uh, essentially um, uh, a super hydrating uh, ingredient uh, that will you know, help keep moisture locked against your skin. Hmm. So it, it pulls moisture from the, the, the moisture, that the water you drink or the fluids you, dr you ingest. It also will pull moisture from the air and, and bind it to your skin nice. and keep your skin hydrated, nice. which is always important when you're trying to have great skin. Nice. So, and the nice thing about our formula too is, well, two things. I have, uh, I've seen formulas out there of hyaluronic acid that have a laundry list of ingredients and are crazy expensive. Ours is a simple formula, and it's reasonable, mm. and people love it. Nice. It's a great product. So, um, Bill, you were going to demonstrate one of the. I was going to say I, I'm going to go back to our, our Bocuccio Plus serum, which is really, really uh, is new. It's about to hit the, the store shelves. It's fantastic. Now it is an anhydrous formula, so it's all oils because it's got, mm. um, you know, a an oil natural base. But I don't know how we can see this. It might take a few pumps. It comes out really nicely, but as it actually goes on, it absorbs very quickly. It'll, wow. it'll go right into your hands. Wow. And especially into mine, because they're very dry right now. And it's essentially, that's it. Now, not necessarily hand formula, but you know, <laughs> I personally can put it on my, I can put it on my face as well. It's wonderful. Oh yeah, you're so I was gonna say. makeup free. So. <laughs> I am makeup free. So this is um, for dry skin. It's for any skin type, actually, it's dry skin or not. I don't have dry skin, and I've used it. I've actually used it in the day. Now I don't. It is an oil-based formula. Most people aren't going to want to put oil on their skin in the but morning. It's sinking in awful quick. Yeah, I was going to say it absorbs <laughs> very quickly. But when when we were when we were testing it, you know, when we were developing it, mm -hmm. I actually used it in the morning. Smells I put it good on. Too. Yes, it's it's del it's nice. It's got yeah, a nice um, scent. small amount of jasmine. Oh, so. I, that's why. So another thing I like about your products, when you use any of the new products in natural food stores, you'll find that the scents are getting stronger and stronger, and what's making those scents are chemicals. Right. Like, we're no dummies, like we know that, you know, like a jasmine scent that, you know, goes through your whole house is not a natural jasmine scent. <laughs> Correct. Uh, and a lot of people are sensitive to fragrances too, mm -hmm. and we try to, you know, we try we try to be sensitive to that. And most of our stuff usually comes from an essential oil or something, mm -hmm. and there's usually an additional benefit to it. There's a reason for it to be there, not just to put a mm -hmm. fragrance in the product. So, what is the oil base? The oil itself. What it's essentially it? the bakuchiol. It's it's that's the bakuchiol extract as well as the alpha uh, alfalfa and the um, artichoke. Wow. Are the extracts are, uh, you know, basically are oils when they're extracted. And okay. Bakuchiol, just for everyone's knowledge, comes from the babchi. Is that how you pronounce it? The babchi yeah, plant. It the, is a plant-based 
oh. product. It comes mm. from a plant. Oh, that's beautiful. It's basically so. from the, the subcontinent, India, Sri Lanka. That's where it originated from. It's very popular in Ayurvedic medicine, mm. Tamil medicine, and ch mm. traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah, medicines. it's got a nice energy to it. And it's sunk into your face awful quick. <laughs> that's what I said when we were testing it. I wanted to try it in the morning, too. Oh, I was going to say. It didn't come in greasy or anything like that. It was just really People nice. are always nervous when we tell them it's an all-oil formula. And I'm, I'm like, don't worry. It's, it, if, if your hands are dry like mine were, it'll be in, soak in your hands before you can get on your face. So you gotta, it's nice gotta be quick. it soaks in and doesn't yeah. stay on the t surface like so many of them do. Correct. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about all these other, I saw the sea scrub. Oh, oh our sea, our, that's our toner, but our sea scrub. Yeah, these are some of the new products we have in our, our, uh, our sea salt cleansing gel is a fantastic product. Uh, I was gonna say, I think we have one open up here. This was actually developed, uh, just so you know how we work, we have an employee who was having some problem skin and she used a salt rinse on her skin and it helped clear up her skin. And she was talking to us about it and I said, and, yeah. and you know, it kind of naturally germinated from there and we developed an entire cleanser mm -hmm. um, with the sea salt base and it smells like it smells really nice. I was gonna say, and grab me a tissue from there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour it out here. I, I was gonna say, it one. smells really nice, and I can tell you, I use it at all different times. But my favorite thing to do, I, say, I don't know if you're a workout person, I don't know if you're an exercise person or whatever. I went one Sunday morning, went to the gym, had a really aggressive, you know, workout session, came home and showered, and I used that on my skin, and it was oh, just so, so refreshing. refreshing. Just amazingly so. Thank you, man. <laughs> um, and I tell people that. So I was how like, does it, it smell? Yeah, it's, it's clean. It's clean, exactly. Yeah. It's like and an ocean no, breeze kind no of. there's no fragrance in there. That's the beautiful part. Again, going back to uh, we, we try to keep things as clean and natural simple. as possible. And simple, yeah. So it is essentially a, just a very mild baby safe surfactant. Not that we're saying wash babies with it. But it is, that's how gentle it is. And the sea salt mm -hmm. is finely ground, so it's a mild abrasive. It's not very... Very mild. You wouldn't even know. But you get all the antiseptic qualities of sea salt. Nice. You know how really your skin nice. feels like refreshed after you come out of the ocean? Assuming you're, you know. But <laughs> um, uh -huh. it feels refreshed after you come out of the ocean. That's, that's how it is. It's just, it's just so, so nice to use. I was going to say, my, you know, my, my 12 year old daughter uses that as a body wash. <laughs> <laughs> she uses everything as a body wash. But um, this one's been around for a while, but I like to talk about it because when I talk about my Desert Island product, the alpha lipoic acid, vitamin C ester, DMAE cream, this is also another daily use for me. This is our elastin collagen body firming lotion. And it's the only body-based product we have, but currently, currently yes, mm. currently. It's the only body-based product we have currently, but it has DMAE, it has resveratrol, it moisturizes and nourishes, and it's one of those things that I, I can't even imagine, like, getting out of the shower and not putting this on, because it just, it just, like, feels so nice, keeps your skin so soft, nice. so moisturized. It's just a really, really it, nice it, product. Like, a lot of times I'll get out of the shower and I'll towel myself off so there's a little bit of dampness to your skin and then you put that on and it locks that all in. Yes. As well as applying the elastin and collagen, the DME, the resveratrol, which is a nice antioxidant. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fantastic. It is one of the, the only body product currently. Right. And people sometimes forget about the body. You know, I mean, you, you focus on your face, which is important, but a lot of times people forget hands and neck and arms and, and you know, legs and so forth. And those all are things, you know, you got to take care of your whole body. Your skin is your biggest organ and you need yes. to keep it healthy mm -hmm. and, and maintained. And, and it's important to have more cleaner products to put on your skin Absolutely. because your skin breathes. So anything that you're going to put on your skin goes right into your bloodstream. Funny you mentioned that because about three years ago we started the process of transforming our products to, to make them cleaner and more earth friendly by removing a preservative which is pervasive in the industry called phenoxyethanol mm -hmm. uh, and replacing it with more natural uh, alternatives. So, And that's a natural progression. We're always looking for what is best for the planet, mm -hmm. what is best for your health, <laughs> your, for humans. Uh, so that our products are always safe and, and effective. That's beautiful. So we're going to wrap things up. How can people uh, reach out to you, order these products, or even get a facial with these products? Well, a lot of them you'll actually be used in the back bar of salons and spas because mm -hmm. our products are do find their ways in the salons and spas. 
but uh, we're available in Sprouts and Whole Foods and Natural Grocers. Uh, vitamin shop. Vitamin shop. Wow. Independent stores across the, the nation and around the globe. We actually so. have a health food store near our home that carries, uh, that is a huge fan of Reviva, carries uh, pretty much our whole line, I think. And um, if you're fortunate enough, oh. we do actually have brand ambassadors who are out in the stores, and they actually will hand you a coupon that's $2 off, as well as giving you two samples at the same time. Oh, nice. So if you cross paths with them, make sure you get your coupon and your, uh, and your samples. And you'll also be um, entering our raffle on the Holistic Holiday at Sea Cruise, which is exciting. Yep, absolutely. Yes. To win a basket. Um, well, I'm so happy that you came on the show. I'm, I'm anxious to try, you know, the vitamin C stick that, or E stick that I bought years ago <laughs> and um, get more familiar with some of these products. And I hope, you know, as you develop more and more, you come back on the show and share that with us. We'd love to. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I know it took us a long time to get on here. Drag <laughs> an actual expo. Eats. That's our mistake. <laughs> so. Well, I, mean, I like to think it was really my thing because he, you know, once I was there, I was like, yeah, we can do that. Let's go ahead. So. <laughs> Camera shot. Anyway, um, thanks, viewers, for watching. Make sure to check these products out at your local health food store. And um, visit our website, macromagic.com, to see previous TV shows and catch up on recipes and sign up for our newsletter. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.